During Rufus King's tenure, King Manor functioned as a working farm. King raised livestock, including 12 sheep. After the sheep were sheared, the wool underwent a process of cleaning, carding, spinning, and dyeing. Then it was ready to be woven into fabric using a loom. Today we're going to make a weaving with paper, as shown here. The parts of the loom include the warp and the weft. The warp are the threads running up and down on the loom. The warp is placed on the loom prior to beginning the weaving process. The weft are the threads that are woven left to right across the warp threads forming the web. The web is the fabric produced by weaving. Here is an example of a woven object from King Manor's collection. This scarf belonged to Rufus King's niece, Eliza Gracie King. To make your own paper weaving project, you will need colored construction paper, feel free to choose the colors you like best, scissors, glue, a ruler, and a pencil. Fold a piece of your paper in half lengthwise, making sure to line up the edges. Position the paper with the folded edge closest to you. With a ruler, place a dot at every inch mark from the left edge of the paper. Place the edge of the ruler on the first dot and draw a line an inch down from the opened end to the folded edge. Do the same for all of the dots, making sure that the lines are equally spaced from top to bottom. Starting at the folded edge, cut each line to create slits. Be sure to stop cutting at the end of each line. Using another piece of paper of a different color, we are going to make multiple strips along the long edge of the paper. With your ruler, place a dot every inch from the long edge of the paper to the other side. Draw a line through each of the dots along the long edge of the paper. Do the same for all of the dots, making sure that the lines are equally spaced from top to bottom. Cut along all of the lines to make your paper strips. Unfold the paper with the slits. This will be your loom and warp. Take your first paper strip and weave it across the slits in an under-over pattern. Move this strip to the top of the loom. These paper strips will be your weft threads. Weave the second paper strip in an over-under pattern, the opposite from your first strip. Weave the rest of the strips in an alternating pattern until you get to the bottom of the slits and your loom is full. Apply glue to the underside of the ends of each paper strip to secure your weaving. Reverse your paper and repeat the gluing process. Your project is now complete.